We are back with more breaking news in the Sarah Palin Troopergate investigation. A dramatic finding today. The Alaska Legislative Council says the governor did abuse her power when she, her husband, and her staff pressed former public safety commissioner Walt Monaghan to fire her former brother-in-law from the state's police force. Joining us now on the phone from Alaska is Walt Monaghan, who's the former public safety commissioner who's at the center of this controversy. Uh, Chief Monaghan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, the first finding of the Branch Flower Report, which has just been released, reading from it directly, uh, for, the fi- for the reasons explained in Section 4 of this report, I find that Governor Sarah Palin abused her power by violating Alaska Statute 39.52.110A of the Alaska Executive Branch Ethics Act, which provides that the legislature affirms that each public officer holds office as a public trust and any effort to benefit a personal or financial interest through official action is a violation of that trust. In essence, uh, the investigator Branch Flower has found that Governor Palin's actions toward you uh, to try to get Trooper, Trooper Wooten fired in her official capacity uh, as governor um, were an ethics violation. Do you feel vindicated? You know, actually, I do, but it's also a little bit of a mixed bag. Hmm. Uh, it, it, it sounds odd, but when, um, when all this happened, the irony through the entire course of my tenure working and as this issue kept resurfacing, was I'm trying to protect the governor from a, from this exactly happening. And um, in that, it, it just didn't work out. But in regards to <clears throat> you know, the feelings of my, my beliefs and opinions of why I was terminated, uh, to that I do feel uh, vindicated. And hopefully now that the truth squad that they have up here... Um, you know, they won't harp on that so much. The political operatives who are in Alaska essentially trying to spin the investigative process and this entire controversy um, have been uh, have been very aggressive toward you, um, essentially trying to claim that you were uh, some sort of rogue official that Sarah Palin righteously got rid of because of uh, because of your actions. Um, the investigator uh, Branch Flower, the Branch Flower report finds that. Um, that that the Governor Palin's desire to have Trooper Wooten fired was likely a contributing factor to your termination as Commissioner of Public Safety. One of the things that has been really on trial here is your reputation. Do you feel like this report, now these findings, um, will put the assaults on your reputation to rest, or do you feel like there is still so much spin going on that you've still got more work to do to defend yourself? Well, actually, that, that's a good question, because I think in time that'll come out. I mean, It'll be interesting to see what happens next week. Um, it would be nice if they turned around and just kind of dropped their entire barrage of of the, the rogue and, and the acting out of uh, accordance with policies and whatnot, because that didn't happen. It, it never happened. And uh, <clears throat> and I actually, when they first struck up that thing, I thought it was odd, because, like I mentioned before, that these are the ones that have all the paper trails. They have the testimonies. And and. Keep anyone complaining to see that that wasn't the case. So, it, Rachel, everything it, that they had done subsequent to my termination basically had pointed back to um, that Wooten was, yeah. in fact, I think I've said before, he was the major factor, if not the factor, of why I was terminated. We were just speaking with uh, Michael Iskoff, a reporter from Newsweek, who has been covering this scandal uh, recently about, about what may happen next. Because of this finding, this ethics law violation, this is an investigation, uh, this is an investigator who was appointed by the state legislature. This is actually an investigation that was instigated by Republicans. It was a unanimous bipartisan vote to start this investigation. Today's report is the result of that. There's a lot of efforts to try to tar this investigation as being somehow a partisan witch hunt. This investigation was, in fact, started by Republicans. But now that there is this finding, um, the legislature, I imagine, has to decide whether to proceed with an effort to censure the governor for this ethics violation, potentially to impeach her. Would you support moves like that from the legislature? You know, honestly, one of the things of working in government, even as a police chief for uh, a lot of years, is I certainly respect the the separations of powers. um, it, It is for them to decide. That's why the people elected them. They make the choice. It's just like it's no different from me being a a defendant, so to speak, and let someone else make their their findings, their choice based on what the facts and evidences that are uh, taken in and 
and uh, adopted. So <clears throat> I trust them to uh, do whatever the, the proper course of action is. And, and uh, as far as my termination, I do feel somewhat more at ease all the way around because it, it wasn't just me imagining it. Just one last quick question, not to press the point, but if there if there were to be a further actions by the legislature, if they were going to proceed with the type of investigation that might lead to uh, impeachment or, or to censure, and they wanted you to testify, would you cooperate with that sort of a process at least? Absolutely. I mean, it, as a public official and having information or evidence, I'm technically a witness or maybe a victim, in some, depending on your point of view. But uh, I cooperated with the investigation with Branch Farmer, and if there was to be further actions or, or whatnot, I feel I would feel compelled, and that's what I've been doing for 35 years. Walt Monaghan, former Alaska Public Safety Commissioner, longtime chief of police in Anchorage, I know this has been a heck of a trial for you. Thank you for taking time to talk with us about it. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel.